Hey everybody, Chris Americos here and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to teach you phrases that you can say when you want someone to repeat themselves. When you want someone to repeat themselves. When you want someone to... Okay, I think you understand. So if you don't understand what somebody says, you can say these phrases and ask them to say it again. Let's start with some easy ones. The first one is, sorry? And you should definitely move your eyebrow up like this when you say, sorry, right? If you can do that, then, then go ahead and try to do that. Just look in the mirror and say it to yourself. Sorry, sorry. And the intonation here is really important because we want to make it like a question. We want to use question intonation and question intonation rises. So we say, sorry, sorry. And this means that we didn't hear the person or we didn't understand them. And the other person should repeat back to us. Now, uh, sometimes we use sorry together with other phrases, and I'll give you some examples of that right now. The next phrase that we might use is, come again? Now, this one is kind of funny to say, and not everybody says it, but some people do. And they might hear you talking, and you know, you say something that they don't understand, they look at you and they say, come again? It means, Say it again, please. Now, you probably know the next phrase. It's just one word. We can just say, what? But some people think that it sounds kind of rude. Like you tell me, Chris, I love your videos. And I say, what? It sounds kind of like, uh, I don't believe you or something like this, right? So it's not the most polite way to tell someone that you don't understand. Another phrase that we might use is, excuse me, excuse me. This one is very similar to sorry, and it tells the person that maybe I didn't hear you or maybe I didn't understand you, but the phrase excuse me might also mean that I think you said something terrible, right? Like, Chris, I hate your videos. And I say, excuse me? Now, with the intonation, we should be able to understand if the person is just telling us that they didn't hear us or didn't understand what we said, or if the person is offended by what we said. And if they're offended, they might say, excuse me, right? You'll be able to hear it from the intonation. But if I didn't understand the person, I'll just say, excuse me? With just simple question intonation, with the rising intonation at the end of the phrase. Now, let's look at some longer phrases, but phrases that maybe are a little more polite and that definitely tell a person that we just didn't hear them or we didn't understand them. The first one is, what was that? And we can replace the word that with other words or a longer phrase like, what was it that you just said? Or what was the last word that you said, for example? And we can tell them exactly what we didn't hear clearly or what we didn't understand. Another phrase that is similar to this is, what did you say? What did you say? And again, this phrase could sound like, I didn't hear you or I didn't understand you, but also it could sound like, I am offended. Like you said, Chris, your videos are terrible. And I say, what did you say? Right? Like, are these words serious? Because this is rude. Uh, so sometimes it has this meaning. We might also add something to this phrase. Like, what did you just say? And this tells us that uh, we're talking about the last thing that you said or something that you said very recently. Another one that we use a lot is, could you repeat that? And again, we can change the word that and use other words. Like we could say, could you repeat the last word that you just said? Now, you probably know if you've watched any of my other videos that using the word could is very polite. So another phrase that we can say is, could you say that again? This one is very clear and very simple, right? And we can change the word that. We can say, could you say the last word? word again? Or could you say that sentence again? Or could you say the last thing that you said again? 
Okay, the next phrase that I'm going to teach you is kind of a funny phrase, at least I think it's funny, but I hear people use it quite often. And this phrase is, I beg your pardon? I beg your pardon? And again, this means, uh, excuse me, or sorry, or I didn't hear you, I didn't understand you, and I want you to repeat. But also this phrase might mean that I'm offended, that I think you said something rude. It has both of these meanings. And what does it really mean, beg your pardon? Well, a pardon is when we forgive someone. Like they say, sorry, and you say, okay, I accept your apology, right? This is to pardon someone. They did something bad and you say, it's okay now. And we say, I beg your pardon. Beg means to ask for something very, very strongly. Please, 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 please. So it means, please, please accept my apology. I'm very sorry, that's what it means. Okay, now let's talk about phrases that we use to tell someone that we didn't hear them or we didn't understand them, but we want them to know that it's our fault. Because sometimes when we repeat again and again and we tell a person, uh, sorry, uh, excuse me, um, what did you say? Could you say that again? It, maybe they feel like they are not clear, right? And sometimes that's true. But if we want to tell them specifically that we didn't understand it, we didn't hear them, then we should say something else. And we can say, for example, I didn't catch that. I didn't catch what you said. Could you say it again? And these phrases where we tell the person that it's our fault, we usually combine them with the other phrases that we've already learned today. So we might say, sorry, I didn't catch that. Or sorry, I didn't catch what you said. This means I didn't hear what you said or I didn't understand what you said. We might also say, I didn't get that or I didn't get what you said. Could you say it again? And another one is, I didn't hear you, or I didn't hear that, or I didn't hear what you said. We can also very simply just say, I don't understand what you said. Could you say it again? Or, sorry, I don't understand what you just said. Another phrase like this is when we say, I don't follow. I don't follow what you just said. And when we say follow, it means that we don't understand or we didn't hear what they said. Okay, the last phrase that I'm going to teach you in this video today is, I'm lost. <laughs> now, usually we say I'm lost when we're walking in a city and we don't know where we are or we don't know where we are going. And we find a person, oh, help me, where's the bank? I'm lost. But we can also say I'm lost when we don't understand what a person is talking about. Right? So maybe I tell you, oh, there's going to be a new video on Friday and then, and then a new video on Monday, but not on Monday, only on Thursday. But so are you confused? I'm confused. I confused myself. So in this situation, you can say, uh, Chris, sorry, but I'm lost. Could you say that again? Because I'm completely lost. And this means I don't understand what's happening. So I hope this video helped you understand different ways that you can ask someone to repeat information and ways that you can tell them that you didn't understand something. If you like this video, make sure you press like, press subscribe, click on that bell button so you get a notification when new videos come out, and leave a comment down below telling me why you liked it or why you didn't. And I also want to remind you that when we get 1 million subscribers on this YouTube channel and 1 million followers on our Facebook page called English with Chris Americos, we're going to release a 100% free, complete, full intermediate English course. And don't forget that we have 30 speaking lessons every day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. So you can join anytime that you want and you can get speaking practice with professional teachers and native speakers and other students from everywhere in the world. Right now we have students from about 70 different countries in our program and we would love to see you at the next lesson. Just click the link under this video to join our live speaking lesson program called English Every Day. I hope to see you at the next lesson. Bye-bye.